1 hectare of residential area, 1 megawatt of photovoltaics, batteries for on-demand grid feeding. In the center of the settlement is a large photovoltaic roof, which covers access road, parking spaces and areas for various activities of residents. The large photovoltaic roof provides sun protection and rain shelter for a variety of outdoor activities for residents. It has 44% share in the electricity production of the settlement. The self-consumption of the settlement, including electric cars, is less than one-sixth of the electricity production. Further south it can be even less than one-tenth. The heat pumps of the houses also provide heat to the swimming pool. Thus, the swimming pool can be used two-thirds of the year. Previously, living in old buildings, residents had a much higher energy consumption. Thus, in addition to electricity production, there is also a considerable energy saving. Heavily urbanized regions have too few children. Reruralization and a family-friendly environment help against this. We need to focus on solving many problems at once, use synergy to save resources. An agro-industrial desert. Everything is beaten down that is not the crop. No biodiversity at all. Part of the year corn grows here, part of the year there is only bare earth. The corn is now harvested and processed into biogas. In Germany, only 17 megawatt hours electricity yield per hectare. This agro-industrial desert brings only 2% in electricity yield from an optimized settlement area. In Germany, 2.6 million hectares of agricultural land are wasted growing crops for energy for a ridiculously low yield. The 1 million hectare land for energy program for Germany, highly comfortable housing for 16 million families, 850 terawatt hours of electricity annual yield, two thirds of a functional and cost optimized energy transition. Analogously, the 100,000 hectare land for energy program for Austria, 